Hey folks, welcome to another Red Hat whiteboarding video. My name is Austin Dewey. I'm an OpenShift consultant here at Red Hat. And my name is Rafael Espastoli, OpenShift architect. And today we're going to talk a little bit about end-to-end -end encryption on OpenShift. So I've got an app. It's, uh, it's running in our dev cluster, currently exposing port 8080, completely uh, unsecured traffic. Um, and we want to be able to leverage end-to-end -end encryption on OpenShift so that we can secure that route and safely push to prod. Uh, how can we go about that? Yeah, this is a common use case, and what we recommend in this case is to do an end-to-end -end encryption with certificates that are provisioned through an automation so that your developers can self-service those certificates. In order to, do, to create this automation, we are going to use a set of operators. Okay. So we've got these operators running on the platform. How can we interact with them to actually provision certificates? The main operator here is Cert Manager. And this operator is able to talk to your company PKI or certificate authority and uh, create certificate based on certificate requests. This operator is an upstream project, so it's an open source project. And uh, when it creates a certificate, it will deposit the resulting TLS material into a TLS secret, so an uh, OpenShift secret. Okay, cool. So we've got our TLS secret. Um, now, what do we do to actually use that secret um, so that our customers can access our app in a secure fashion? In, a, in this scenario, we are doing a re-encrypt end-to-end type of encryption. Um, and this, uh, in this case, what we have to do is to inject the secret into, the route, into a route. Uh, in order to do that, we can use a, another operator called Cert UTS operator. This operator, based on an annotation that we put in the route, will take the TLS material and inject it in the route. On the other side, on the pod side, um, we have, again, we have requested the certificate and the certificate is in the secret, and now we can just simply mount the secret to the pod. Okay, so simple enough. I, th I think I might have found one catch. So our app is, it's a Java app, and it's gonna expect trust stores and key stores uh, instead of just raw PEM files. Um, is, that, is that a roadblock for us, or what can we do? Around no, that? this is a common use case, and what we can do is to ask certitus operator to convert from PEM format uh, to uh, key stores and Java stores. So again, with, a, with an annotation, we can have uh, an, another representation of the secret with this format, and so that our application can just consume those, uh, the files in those format. Okay, that's awesome. So I really just have one more question, and this is the last roadblock that you know, security would, uh, would uh, enforce on us. So we wanna be able to rotate this cert, and uh, I'm wondering if there's a way we can do that with the setup. Yeah, the cert manager is in charge of um, making sure that certificates are rotated. So it will detect when a certificate is about to expire and make a request to your company PKI to get a new set of, uh, a new certificate, a new set of TLS material, and again, deposit them in, in, into the secret. And then if we are doing a route, inje a route injection, we, the certitude operator will detect that the secret has changed and will inject the, the new TLS material in the route. So at this point, the router is already able to serve the new certificates. Uh, on the pod side, wh what happens is, again, the certificate will be renewed, the TLS secret will be renewed, um, and certitude operator will refresh the uh, key store and, and trust store representation if they are needed, and then the new files will be uh, available in, in the pod. And then it's up to, to our application to detect that there are new files, new certificates, and reconfigure itself. If the application is not able to do that, we have a third operator here to help with that. It's, it's the reloader operator. With this operator, we can configure the pod to be redeployed when a secret or a config map changes. In this case, it's going to be the secret. So when the secret is refreshed, a rolling deployment will, the trigger, will be triggered for the application so we don't get any outage. And uh, when, once the pod are rebooted and the application is, comes up again, it will have the new secret. Cool. I, th I think security is going to love this. So um, if you guys also loved what you saw, uh, feel free to check us out at redhat.com slash services um, or speak to your existing account rep to start a conversation. Thank you.